The National Working Committee of the New Nigeria People's Party has suspended its chairman, board of committee, Boniface Anirbunam, and its publicity secretary, Agbo Major, over high-handedness and other infractions pending further investigations. At a press conference held today in Abuja, acting national chairman, Abba Ali, recalled the event that led to this decision, including uh, a unitarian reversing uh, the decision of the National Working Committee in suspending some members of the party. The party insists that this decision doesn't in any way uh, lead to the factionalization of the party. I'm joined now by the National Auditor of the NNPP, Ladipo Johnson, for more on this development. Mr. Johnson, thank you for joining us on the news at 7. You know, some observers are concerned about how early it seems the NNPP is having these challenges after having a very impressive outing in the just concluded general election. Some have even fingered uh, the party's presidential candidate, Rabi Kwakwaso, as the reason for this in his attempt to completely take charge of the party. How do you react to this? Well, good evening. Thanks for having me. Um, unfortunately, and it is unfortunate, um, things have gotten to this um, stage, to this level. It is normal that after every election, a party takes stock of what has happened and you try to reposition your party. When the process began, um, unfortunately, there were some people who were found to have um, been involved in anti-party activities, etc., during the elections. And um, I think two of the gentlemen were expelled. Some were suspended later. Some of the chapters, the executive committees of the chapters, were dissolved. Um, um, Dr. Aide Bunam, naturally, people went to him, some of those who were suspended. Unfortunately, he didn't advise them to take advantage of um, provisions of the Constitution, which allowed for an appeal, which allowed for an appeal process and for matters to be resolved. Indeed, one of them went to court um, in Ogu State, and the court threw him out because he, it, it said that he hadn't gone through the appeal process and everything that is inside the um, constitution of the um, party. So it is very unfortunate that the, um, Dr. Ayer Bunam felt it, um, it, it was his um, duty to solely, solely write certain letters, reversing decisions of the working committee, reversing decisions of the NEC, right. decisions that had been ratified by the NEC. Now, so we realize, we respect him. We realize that um, he has a role to play. But you don't play that role alone. That's one. And your role is advisory. Uh, it's a political party, and we want everyone to be on board. But we I hear you feel Mr. that Johnson. it is necessary. Yes. That's the position of the National Working Committee. But let me also tell you the position of, you know, some other uh, 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 people who have reacted to this story. They are asking, is this how the NNPP repays a founding uh, member of the party, Dr. Anne Bonham, given all it did for the party pre-election? And they've also asked questions like, were there other means of resolving this before enacting the provision of the party's constitution? Thank you very much. This, <laughs> this in no way is, uh, this is in no way an attempt to repay him or not pay him or what have you. This is an attempt to keep the sanctity of the constitution of the party, to keep things going properly, and the repositioning of the party. We realize, I said earlier, that we respect him. But things have got, gone too far. And you cannot respect someone and bring in chaos into the party. I think the main issue here is that in his trying to intervene, he has forgotten that the party is no longer like a one-man party. We have people from all walks of life, people from um, various states. That is the problem. And I don't think it is fair to say that um, 
Some people are trying to hijack the party. No. We have a constitution. We had conventions. We, have exe we had executive um, positions, um, ex executives in place. So INEC knows all this. It is the constitution. It is no longer the fact that there were God knows how many founding fathers. They're, they're, they're there. And, but they have to, it is like any other association. They have to operate by the constitution. And we say the National Working Committee wants these teething issues to be resolved. Right now, as we speak, I have seen um, releases by them saying that they want to hold a board meeting, uh, I think on the 28th or so of this month. Um, he cannot just call the board meeting. It, the board of trustees hasn't even been inaugurated. Mr. Johnson. Well, that is the problem. Yes, you, sir. you didn't respond specifically to, you know, the insinuation that Rabbi Musa Kwakwaso is at the center of this. That's on one part. The letter no, also no, no, stated no. that may the I, NNPP I just, is May I just say very quickly, may I just say very quickly that Senator Kwakwaso and the chairman, um, uh, Dr. Ayebunam, have met several times. Senator Kwakwaso has flown to Lagos several times on various issues. They've met several times. It is not, um, in, look, this is politics. We need everybody. It's not in our interest to say some people should go away. And that is not what the National Working Committee is saying. The Working Committee is simply saying that, look, let, their, let us have some stability. Let us have a, a proper direction. Let us move in accordance with our constitution. No one wants to chase anyone out. No one wants to do that. And Senator Conquazo definitely doesn't want to do that. I know for certain he knew nothing about what happened. Mm. And I know well, that um, in reality, several, Mr. Me um, that several members... NWC Sorry? Is asking about, I said the reality is that the NWC is asking about seven chairmen of the party to step aside as well as um, one of the founders of the NNPP. But that's our time. We probably will return to this conversation subsequently. National Auditor of the NNPP, Ladipo Johnson, thank you for talking to us on the news tonight. Thank you.